Welcome to the Daily News Network and you're on a mission with Jack Sears. When we get together, we visit with local businesses, organizations, and nonprofits to discuss how their mission is becoming reality. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about logistics and community service because we have as our guest Theo Vallis with Central Oceans USA. Welcome to the show, Theo. Thank you so much for having me, Jack. Great, yeah. So let's get this party started. Central Oceans USA. Um, who are you and what is your mission? Uh, yes, Theo Vallis um, with Central Oceans USA. I am uh, Vice President of Power Generation and Rail Logistics, but to uh, make that English or simplify that, I am the <coughs> Chief Commercial Officer, so I'm responsible for sales operations and pricing for our company. Okay, great. And it's a logistics company, right? It's a logistics company. Technically, we're um, a third-party logistics or a freight forwarder. We specialize in a very uh, niche area of logistics, which is called project cargo. That means oversized, over-dimensional. So if you drive down the road, you will rarely see what I'm doing because it's just so big and so large that it can't move on traditional roads or moves weekends, nights only. So it's very unique and specialized. Yeah, I, I, when, when you were describing that, I have a vision of going uh, on 95 and I see this big wide load with this big machine on it with all kinds of cars and lights. Could that be you guys? It absolutely could and that's probably on the smaller end of what we do. So okay. uh, we move things all the way up to 300 feet, a million pounds. So we're talking about massive wow. cargo. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's a lot different, uh, much uh, more unique and different skill set and challenging, which is part of why I love what I do. Yeah. How long have you been doing this kind of work? I've been doing it since 2005, so almost 20 years. Mm. I was very fortunate uh, out of graduate school. I went to work for CSX in oh, their management okay. training mm. program. So yeah. I spent uh, almost eight years there doing pricing, sales, operations, and kind of cut my teeth. And then I went to work for Central Oceans, which at the time was a startup. And uh, we don't just do rail. We do all modes of transportation, and it's also international, which was so it just broadened my horizon, so to speak. I, I can tell by the step in your voice you've got passion and interest in it. But I also know that besides just work, you do things outside of work in the community. Uh, so let's talk about some of the interests that you have in community work. Absolutely. So when I was younger, I have uh, four children ranging from 17 to 4. So I made it a commitment when I wasn't at work I was going to be with my family. So my community involvement started on the micro level. I was going to be at practice, so I volunteered to coach. Uh, one of my sons was involved with the Boy Scouts. Right. Um, and so I was a den leader and, and started all the way from you know kindergarten up until middle school. So I contributed on a local level, but now as I start to get a little more time, um, have put my tendrils in the local community, supporting various charities with my time and, and financially as well. And, and one that I'm really passionate about right now is called the Great Banquet. Um, okay. It's um, based on the Catholic Curcio movement, which is a 72-hour kind of spiritual reawakening. Mm -hmm. And what I love about the Great Banquet is you have uh, individuals from all walks of life, all backgrounds, who come seeking something. Um, you know, they're trying to. We as a society are trying to fill holes. I call it soul-sized holes. Um, and often we try to do it with things that are fleeing or, or not long lasting. And this, through spirituality, allows them to find an identity and feel really a love and connectedness with the community that they may not have ever felt. Oh, wow. So Catholic, I'm familiar with Curcio. Yep. So is it a 72 hour experience? Uh, exactly, it is. It's actually the Protestant version, um, but there are several of these Curcio-like movements. Mm -hmm. uh, same. They're all very similar, just slight nuances depending on the religion or the organization it's associated with. That's correct. I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So what, what led you to, to engage in this kind of work? Uh, it honestly was as a guest. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was at a place where I was trying to balance growing a, a small startup, a family, a husband, and while I was Externally, by external appearances, some would say, oh, he's got it all together, but inside it didn't necessarily have it. So I came as a guest seeking answers, and it was, for me, one of the most incredible experiences I have ever had. And it started me on a path where I was like, 
I want to help with this. So over time, they've asked me to come back and speak and be a table leader, do things like that, and I just really love it. Oh, that's outstanding. Um, you know, we, we visit with a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and business owners and startups, and then they talk about the importance of not just, you know, making a living, but making a life as well. Do you see value as a business uh, owner, operator, leader, having things to do in the community outside of work? Absolutely. I mean, we are, our communities are reflections of the organizations and people that mm -hmm. are there. And so be, I've been in Jacksonville since 2005. I've grown to love it. I've raised my family here. My wife was born and raised. So I feel like I have an obligation to help the city, which is been such a place for me to establish roots to return so it's some of these ways that I can do that so I 100% agree and then I try to model that behavior for my team as well. Oh, great leadership by example <laughs> wonderful. That's nice. Well listen you've been a marvelous guest thanks for joining us today and thanks for sharing about your mission your business and and what you're doing outside of work so how would our audience uh, perhaps if they wanted to learn more about you your company how would they connect with you? Absolutely the best way uh, we could you could check out the website uh, www.centraloceansusa.com that's for our logistics company and you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Well, I hope people. Uh, I hope people do connect. So I would love to. So yeah. welcome it. Thank Great. you. Thank you. That's it, folks. That's the time we have here today on a mission with Jack Sears. If you'd like to learn more about Theo, his business, uh, and perhaps learn a lot of other things that are happening here in this community, be sure to check out this interview and many others on the Daily News Network. Com. Until we get together next time, here's wishing you good health, much happiness, and remember, treat each other the way you'd like to be treated.